Well, cooler weather and shorter days mean more deer darting across roadways here in Ohio. And the number of deer vehicle collisions, well, they always seem to increase during October. And they peak in November and December. Linda Lambert joins us from AAA to talk about how we can avoid these costly, potentially dangerous crashes. Linda, thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. So, Linda, what's the average cost when we whack one of these deer on, on the road? The average claim uh, through AAA over the last year has risen $600, and it's now about $5,600 to repair your vehicle when you collide with a deer. So how do we avoid these collisions if it's possible? There are several things that you can do. Uh, you want to pay attention to road signs. Those triangular signs that point to a deer crossing are there for a reason. There have been high instances of deer spotted in that area. You want to stay alert because you often can spot a deer on down the road ahead of you and have plenty of time to react. Also, pay attention, especially during the early morning and e early evening hours. We're talking 5 a.m. to 8 a.m and 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And of course, those are the times when commutes are the heaviest for people going to and from work. So you wanna make sure you stay extra alert. Use your high beams, if at all possible, if there's no oncoming traffic, because that might allow you to see a deer on down the road uh, because the headlights will reflect off of their eyes. If you see one deer, they rarely travel alone. So slow down and pay close attention because there could be other deer. Resist the urge to swerve. This is really important because if you swerve, which is our instinct to do when we see something coming towards us, if you swerve, you could get into the path of another vehicle, you could hit a tree, a telephone pole, or you could disorient the animal and confuse them even further. And lastly, resist the urge to brake. Take your foot off the brake if a crash is imminent, because when you slam on the brakes, the front of your vehicle goes down, and that can allow the deer to come up over the hood and through the windshield directly into you. So resist that urge. It's hard to do, but it's the safest thing to do. All right, a lot of good information there, Linda. And uh, this time of year, we got, you got the deer, you know, kind of in a mating season type situation. So they're definitely on the run. When hunting season starts, people get those deer moving in the woods and onto the roads. So we all need to watch out. Linda, thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you.